Hamburg, Iowa took a major hit in the recent floods. Today, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley got an aerial view and saw that the water destroyed most of the town. He sat among city leaders and people who live there to listen and take their concerns back to Washington. Reporter Alex McLuhan has more on what Hamburg desperately needs. A view from above shows flood damage in Hamburg, Iowa last week. Senator Chuck Grassley got a similar aerial view this morning. I saw one great big lake. It's pretty hard to tell where a river is. Lots of relatively new businesses, probably completely destroyed. At an area hospital, the senator met with community leaders, emergency managers, and residents of Hamburg as they pressed him for immediate help. The city may issue a boil order next month, and flood water has cut off natural gas to about 300 homes and businesses. We have 560 homes, 167 are underwater, and many others affected. I'm asking you today to um, go back to Washington and work on uh, funding for, for grants to to speed up the process of, of repairing our infrastructure. In the downtown area, water is still covering the street. Part of a levee has spilled onto the ground, and it's the same scene at nearby homes. Fences from a destroyed levee have been left mangled in yards, and a church is clearing out debris as floods reached all across town. We got to get our infrastructure back, get the levees rebuilt. You know, that's that's priority number one. Getting the breach stopped, getting our levees back so we can secure to get our citizens back here. During the flood of 2011, residents built up a levee around town, but they had to remove it because it didn't meet standards. Senator Grassley says he hears the desire to once again have a levee around Hamburg. Uh, trying to drum home in a constant fashion that the Corps got to be more concerned about flooding than anything else on the Missouri River. In Hamburg, Alex McLoon, 3 News Now. Hamburg city leaders say they need FEMA assistance now. Senator Grassley also visited Glenwood and Melvern, Iowa.